Good morning and welcome. Lovely to see you this morning. Another bright sunny day and we're still in Proverbs um, chapter 3 and uh, uh, we're in verse 7. Do not be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Now be not wise in your own eyes is very similar to do not rely on your own insight. And uh, here we are, the scripture's doing what it often does, and that is saying the same thing in a slightly different way. And when it does it, we need to stop and take notice of it. This is, this is wisdom. Um, however much we know about anything, about life, about experience, we must be careful to trust our own wisdom. Do not be wise in your own eyes. I take you back to the scriptures. There is something in the scriptures about every single aspect of life. There's something in the scriptures about how we do business, how honest we are, how we deal with um, our neighbour's land landmarks, uh, you know, the fencing. Um, there's even instruction. Um, I remember when we moved here, um, where we are, we, some of you don't know what our house is like, but we have a house that is raised up from the ground level at the front um, uh, and so we have three steps up to a landing sort of thing uh, a raised part, part of our front garden and then uh, two more steps up to our front door and uh, in front of our front door there is a large square area uh, not very large probably well you probably I don't know, I'm not good at measurements, but it's not very big. It's about square to the whole door, you know, that sort of size. And when we first moved in, I said, we simply must put something to show the edge because we have a, a drop, uh, a wall, and a drop to the lower garden at the front. And I based that on a verse in the, in the, in the Law of Moses, which says that we should be careful with the parapet round the flat roof on the top of the house um, and and put a, a guard round it uh, because if someone falls off our roof it will it will be we will be responsible for the the, the, what, the outcome because we haven't put a protection round our roof now that to me is a principle and so we now we've always had plant pots along the edge of this square place in front of our door so that people can't miss the fact that they have to stay well away from the edge. We have to do things. There are, there, are, there are principles in the scripture that cover almost every aspect, well, every aspect of our life. We mustn't bear false witness. We mustn't want the things that our neighbor has got. We, ha we mustn't be envious of people. We must be kind and generous. We must love our neighbor. I mean, love your neighbor as yourself covers nearly every practical aspect of life. If we love ourselves and our neighbour, we won't use false false weights, we won't um, be dishonest, we won't lie about them, we won't gossip about them, we won't treat them like dirt, we, we will treat them the way that we would like to be treated ourselves. All these things are in Scripture. So we mustn't be wise in our own eyes. We must look at the principles. Reading through Proverbs regularly is a very great help because there's lots and lots of nuggets of wisdom in Proverbs that we can apply to our daily life. And it says in the second half of verse 7, chapter 3, Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Fear the Lord, this is, this is honouring to the Lord, realising that the Lord is there whatever we do. You know, even when you do things when there is no one else present, how you do them and why you do them um, and, and what you do is seen by the Lord. He, he is our Lord and we are answerable to him for our everyday daily lives. We are not doing, we don't do things hidden in darkness. But fear the Lord, honour him in everything. So when we're at work, um, we have to be careful what we do at work, uh, to be honest. Um, I used to work, I used to work in a, we used to, we, we used to do our work, we need to do our work as if the Lord were there, uh, not as if we were on our own. I mean, I, I worked in, in a place uh, when I was first at work, it was about 19, 19 or 20, 
and I worked as a receptionist telephonist and I was employed from 9.30 to 5.30 and everybody left the building at 5. But I was employed till 5.30 and I can't tell you how many days I thought nobody will know if I'm not here. Why should I be the only one who keeps to the hours I'm employed for? Why should I be the only one who worked? They were all employed till 5.30. But because the bosses went, they went. They didn't stay till 5.30. Some stayed till 5.15 or 5.20, but they didn't stay till 5.30. And those last minutes were very long every day. And it was a battle. But I did not leave until 5.30 because I was paid till 5.30. I honoured the fact. I knew the Lord was with me and the Lord would expect me to honour my employer with the hours that I worked. Um, now you may think that's being pedantic, but think about it. You know, do we only do things well when we know there's someone there who will see what we're doing? It's a good question to ask, isn't it? Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. Honour him in everything that we do. Um, it's very important that we are we are disciples. We, we, we serve a master who is with us all the time and uh, and we honor him even when um, even when no there's nobody but him around and it feels as if nobody will know what we're doing and why we're doing it and how we're doing it but he does and we live to a very high standard you know Jesus didn't make being a Christian easy he made it a challenge and it's a challenge to us to live our lives for Jesus. It's a challenge to us to live up to the wonderful principles of the word the best we can. Not to earn salvation, not to earn salvation, but to be good representatives of Jesus to those who don't know him. So that when they look at us, they can say, oh, that's, that's why she behaves or he behaves like that, because they're Christians. It's very interesting, isn't it? Anyway, that's my thought for the day. I could keep talking to you about experiences I had at work, but that's not my job. My job is to set you thinking and to give you a thought for the day. Think about it, how, how you do things, and whether you fear the Lord in all that you do. Um, don't lean on your own insight. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Um, trust the Lord in all that you do. Wonderful words, very deep thoughts, deep thinking. Self-examination required, everybody. And... And that's what our time away is, um, like a retreat, isn't it? And we're being moulded more into the image of Jesus. Have a great day. I hope my thought carries you through the day till, till tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.